Welcome back. In this coaching session, I'm going to pick up on what we talked about, about moods and emotions in the last thing. As you recall, moods are based, are, they come upon you. They're sort of like a fog that just comes to you, and you find yourself in a particular mood. Now, as people, we all have moods, moods of happiness, moods of depression, moods of excitement, moods of nervousness. Two moods, nervousness and joy, are two that are catching. But uh, we talked about moods. And we also talked about emotions. Emotions are different in moods, different in the moods because they're triggered by an event. A particular event happens and all of a sudden you have a certain emotion. And once we learn what those triggers are, we can control our emotions better. But at this time, I want to talk about an event happens to you that triggers a negative emotion in you and it puts you into what we call the downward spiral. The downward spiral is something that we're all subject to but in coaching, I spend a great deal of time with people finding out where they are in this spiral and then reversing that spiral through what we talk about as building efficacy. And we'll deal with that in the next unit. So right now, let's deal with uh, the downward spiral and how that happens. Something happens to you. Someone breaks up with you that you really care about. Or you fail a test. Or you get cut from a team. Something happens where you feel like right now, the first step of the downward spiral, you feel worth less than you did before. Before I had this tremendous feeling about myself, now I feel worth less than I did before. Remember, it's not worthless, but worth less. If you're allowed to, to ruminate about being worth less today than you were yesterday or uh, now than you were a few minutes ago, then what happens is you get uh, a feeling of less hope or hopelessness. Once hopelessness sets in, it blinds you to the future. You can't see anything good happening from this point on. And that's a very bad place to be. So hopelessness is, uh, you see that in people around you when they just can't seem to talk about the future or can't seem to feel any real promise or possibilities about the future. Now, if you remain in hopelessness very long, you'll also spiral down further into what's called isolation. And that's where you feel, believe, that no one can help you. And that feeling of isolation happens frequently to people that I coach because they get this sense of, uh, you know, I, I just don't have anybody I can talk to about this. There's nothing I can do. And as a coach, I have, to, I have to let them know that there's always resources available. There's always tools and there's always people. I'll just give you a quick example. If you have a flat tire on the way to a school or a meeting, I'm assuming you're driving now, and uh, you know you have a flat tire. You don't just pull over the side road and stop and say, there's nothing I can do. There's always tools available. You get out, open the trunk, use, jack the car up, and do it yourself. There's always resources available. If you have a cell phone company, you probably have road service. If you have insurance, car insurance, you probably have road service. There's a whole industry around it. That's true for almost anything in life that when, they're, when you feel you're, you're hopeless, my job as a coach is to say it's not hopeless, and let me talk about some of the people and other resources, tools that are available to you. Now, hopelessness leads to that isolation where you don't feel like you have any help, and then if that continues, you drop into a worse emotion, and that's powerlessness. I can't make anything good happen in my life. That point is, is a very difficult place to be, and it, it takes away your energy, it takes away your drive, it takes away any future that you might feel. So no longer can you project into the future good things happening. You feel like you're caught, trapped, and there's nothing you can do about it. So once again, let's talk about this downward spiral. It starts with feeling worthless, spirals down to hopeless, spirals down to isolation, and then spirals all the way down to powerlessness. This is a this downward spiral is something that I intervene with when I coach a person on a one-to-one -one basis. And we'll be talking about each one of these and what kind of intervention works best at each of these steps in future tapes, coaching tapes. So listen carefully to what I've just said. We dealt with moods and emotions in the previous uh, lesson and a session. And what I want to do right now is show how that can really work against your success in school, your success at home, your success in almost everything you do. So 
and, and it, it's a function of, of, a, of a triggered event, something that happens that pushes you into this downward spiral. I'm going to show you how to get out of it in the next session when we deal with what's called efficacy. And efficacy is the belief that no matter what the circumstances are, I can make good things happen. I have lots of possibility in the future, and I'm going to bring that future to me. Okay? I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.